What's up guys? Fred here. So today we have a very interesting project, very different from our previous projects. And when I posted this to my Instagram and asked people whether they want the tutorial, everyone went crazy. People just started DMing me, come on create a tutorial. Some people even started writing SMS. Who is still using that thing? SMS? Seriously? One guy even called me and he was like, hey bro, when are you going to create this tutorial? Okay, I'm doing it. You got this, okay? And just to remind you, if you want to master Photoshop and create tons of cool projects, then you can go to learnfromfred.com and there you will see both paid and free premium classes on Photoshop on different cool projects on Photoshop animation. I even have a class on how to create Instagram masks. Yeah, you know, these things where your face is changing or you got some different things on your face. Yeah, I can teach you how to do that as well. With that said, let's get into our tutorial. So just to let you know, this is a screen recording that I did when I was creating my project. And there are a few things that I didn't record, unfortunately. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. First of all, of course, we need to import the image in our Photoshop project. I will leave a link to the image in the description. And also here I have some unused layers, but don't pay attention to them, but does that okay? Um, the, as you can see, they're all turned off because we don't need them. Here's our image, as you can see. And the first thing we need to do, we need to take our quick selection tool and uh, we need to start selecting the background as you can see i'm selecting the background here and then when we selected the background i need to go and create a mask so i just have to click here in order to create a mask for my image i'm creating a mask as you can see tank and now we see only the background and now we need to invert the image so we see everything except the background so as you can see here we have our black and white mask we just need to change the black and white places so Boom, and for that we can use hotkey which is Ctrl or Command plus I. When you select your mask and then you click Ctrl or Command plus I, you're going to swap the black and white colors. And that's why as you can see we are swapping the things that we see. So that's why we see now the person itself and we don't see the background. So let's continue. Now we need to select this uh, marquee tool. Okay, so we are going to, this will help us to select the left and the right part of the head. And when you do that, make sure feather is 0%, make sure you have this thing selected here. Also make sure I've selected this image here. And uh, as you can see, I'm just selecting, boom. Okay, now I'm just going to go and create a copy of this layer here. And uh, you can create with different options. You can click right on the layer and then go to duplicate layer and just click OK to create a copy of this layer. As you can see now I have two copies of the layer. And why I did that because, so on this layer I'm just going to show only the left part of the head and then I'm going to create another layer where I will show only the right part of the head. Also very important here as you can see I have only this part selected. Now I want to select everything except this part. So basically I need to inverse my selection. Again I was using hotkey. You can go to select here and then you can go to inverse and it will inverse your selection. So basically now you will have selected everything except this rectangle area. As you can see now I have inverse the selection. You see this selected area? This basically means that it is ever it selected everything except this place here. So now I have inversed the selection. Before we didn't have these lines here on the borders. And I'm just making my brush bigger and I have to go to this mask here and I will start deleting everything that I don't need. So I will start deleting everything except this part. Just make sure you select your brush, make sure you have black color here selected, make sure your opacity and flow is 100%. Let's continue. And uh, as you can see, I'm drawing already, but I have to turn off the image below, boom. And now I can continue drawing. And as you can see, I'm deleting the part of the image that I don't need, okay. I know this was a little bit confusing for some of you who is not that good at Photoshop, so that's why just leave um, your comments or just try to replace this part in order to understand it better. So I'll just play now. And now we just need to create another copy. As you can see, I'm creating a short copy of already and I'm gonna do the same with the right part. So again, I select the marquee rectangle tool. I select the right part of the face so we can now then separate the face. Boom, let's continue. And then I do the same thing. I select this mask here, okay. With already, so this is already a third copy, okay? So this is the original image, this is the left part, and this is going to be now the right part, okay? And now when I did that, again, I need to inverse my selection. For that, again, you go to select and inverse. Boom, let's continue. As you can see, I, mean, if I have inverted, I take my brush tool, and I start deleting everything that I don't need. Just make sure when you do that, you're on the mask, not on the image, but on the mask, and you have black color, okay? <laughs> because some people they don't really know how masks work in order to do anything in photoshop you need to know how masks actually work if you don't know how masks work then you don't know anything about photoshop <sighs> okay i'm getting already angry i should calm down <laughs> Ooh, 
what, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. You came here so I could tell you subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to the channel so you can get weekly cool unique artwork tutorials that you have never seen anywhere else. <laughs> Please. What are you waiting for? Why are still not subscribed? What was that? Who, who, who was that? Anyway, guys, I think it's better if you subscribe. Yeah, so yeah, let's now go back to the tutorial. <laughs> As you can see, I just um, deselected the selection. So for that, you can just go to select and deselect in order to make sure the selection is gone. So as you can see right now, I turned on all of the parts. Now I need to click right here on this layer and I need to choose convert to smart object because I want this to be a smart object with a mask already. So if I just continue playing that, see what's going to happen. Boom, as you can see now, this is a smart object with a mask already. So now here, um, we need to rasterize this layer. So basically, now we just need to go to the layer. We need to click right on the layer and then we need to click rasterize layer, okay? Boom. And now in order to actually, you know, bend this face, we are going to use a tool called Puppet Warp Tool, okay? And this tool is actually going to help us to bend the face like this to the left and to the right. And now, for example, if we select this image, if we go to Edit and then we go to Puppet Warp, the problem is that, as you can see, now uh, I want to select this part of the image, but I don't see it. Unless the only places I see that I can use Puppet Warp on is everything except the face, this part, this part, and so on. For that reason, we're actually going to do next. I'm just gonna click Cancel here in order to cancel this Puppet Warp. I'm going to use Marquee Tool here, this one. And then with Marquee Tool, I'm going to select this part of the face. And then when I did that, I'm actually gonna use hotkey which is Ctrl or Command plus J. This hotkey actually helps us to uh, take the selected area and put it on the new layer. So as you can see right now, if you look here, we'll have here a second layer with the same thing. So if I just click Ctrl or Command plus J, boom. As you can see now, we have another layer here. So now as you can see, this is the layer that I just created and this is the layer that we had before. And I just need to delete this one. And now I need to select this image and I need to go to Edit and Puppet Warp. Now we need to go to edit and choose here Puppet Warp Tool, boom. So how this tool actually works? We need to, first of all, we need to create points on the face. So we just need to click, 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 and then we'll be able to drag the point. So for example, just uh, do what I do here and you'll have the same effect. So if I just go and click once here, boom, and then again here in the middle, and then again here. So now when I did this three clicks, that basically means that now I can drag these parts of the face and I can go, for example, and drag this part of the face. And if I go now up and I try to drag this point here, look, I try to drag it, but the problem is that as you can see, I drag it, but there is a second point created. That sometimes happens, it's just some kind of a bug, just when you click once, sometimes it creates two points, and that's why when I drag this point, as you can see, we have another point here. So now I'm going back, and uh, now I need to delete this. To delete the point, you just click on it, make sure it's blue. And then you can just click the delete button on your uh, laptop or you can click the backspace button depending on what you use for deleting. And uh, boom. And I create another point. I click again here. And then I drag as you can see it's the same problem. So that's why we do another thing. We just go and we click on this uh, button. On, boom. And delete it. And as you can see I can move this to the left and right and I can bend the face. And when I did that we just go and click OK. Good job guys! I need to speak so much during these tutorials. Every time after tutorial, my throat starts hurting really, really bad. You see how much I'm sacrificing for you for this tutorial? So as you can see, I decided to go back and distort it even more. You can just go to edit and then undo, undo, undo to make it normal. And then you go again to edit and then puppet warp and then you can distort it again. And now we need to do the same thing to the right part of the face as well. As you can see, I turned on the right part of the face and now I need to select the image. I need to go to edit and then I need to go to puppet warp and then again just click 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 and then I drag it to the right just like that see how beautiful this looks just like a flower <laughs> and just click ok then and then I turned on the image below the the main image basically and now we have left part right part and the main image on the back and now uh, I need to make sure I select the mask of this image and I need to start deleting some parts of the image on the back again with the brush tool and black color we just delete 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 after working some more time as you can see I deleted it you shouldn't really pay attention to the fact that this is not smooth this is like chaotic this uh, border uh, we're not going to see it anyway and I need to take um, this image here that also I found online I don't actually remember there but if you just google um, 
zipper or what is the name of the thing you'll be able to find it um, and then you can use it in your own image and now as you can see i imported this image to the face imagine if you had a zipper on your face and you can just open it and you know replace your brains or upgrade your brain that would be awesome right <laughs> in order to match this perfectly to the face uh, you had you, you just have to move it to the right or you can again go to the edit and then use puppet warp tool in order to uh, bend this zipper and match it perfectly to the face as you can see i did already match this to the face and now i have to take the other part of the zipper which i also found online so you can see the straight part so we have this part of the zipper and then we have the straight part and you may actually find it just as one whole image or you might find it as two separate images you need to use the both of them in photoshop and now I'm just gonna use the puppet warp tool again in order to uh, make it the zipper go like this as you can sit down and then to the right so in order to bend it I'm gonna use the same tool that we used in order to bend the face I need to go to edit and then puppet warp and then just click 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 and then I need to start bending it as you can see I also to make 12 points there so the, that, part, that parts don't really move and then I can bend it like this good and then a little bit down and then click OK. So after a few more adjustments, I need I needed to bend this few more times in order to make it perfect. As you can see, I got it right. And I think I forgot to tell you is that uh, actually you can select both of these uh, zipper parts and then you can put them to linear light. So basically not normal mode, but linear light. And now we need to turn on back the original image that we had. As you can see now, I just bring it back. So as you can see here is dark. That's why we actually need to go to shapes and we need to select here ellipse tool and then we need to make it just normal color. We need to make it black color. And when you do that, just make sure you have here this, uh, this option selected. And when you do that, just make sure your options are just like mine. So no stroke basically, as you can see here, this is set to shape. And then we can just click and drag to create a black rectangle. Then we just select it and bring it up. We need to bring it behind the faces and the zipper. So now what we need to do, we need to take the image that we had here behind and we need to put it in front of the black rectangle. So here we have three images right now, okay, that's very important. Left part of the head, right part of the head and also the background image as you can see we even can see the eyes a little bit, right? Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to create a fourth copy number four of this image and we need, right, right now we need only the head. So we're going to create a copy of this image and then we're going to use mask to leave only the head. So for example, if I just move a little bit forward, as you can see, that's what I did here. Unfortunately, I didn't record this part, so that's why I just need to show you the results. But if you know Photoshop, that shouldn't be very difficult for you. So as you can see now, I created a copy of my image and then I deleted everything except the head. So here, if you look at this image here, as you can see here on the mask, we have here a uh, white place, only the head and then everything else is black, which means we deleted everything else. So now we have here four images. The background in general, the main image, the left part of the head, the right part of the head and only the head, basically the full head. <laughs> so now please go and create a new empty layer. So we just need to create a, a new empty layer. And we're going to use that layer in order to create this part of the zipper. As you can see, we need to extend the zipper left and right parts of the zipper. Okay. So for example, if you look here, as you can see, the zipper needs to go here and then up here and then up. In order to do that, we actually need to extend it manually. And then when you have a new layer created already, we need to choose this tool called stamp tool. This tool actually helps us to copy some parts of the image and then uh, paste it. So for example, we can copy this place and then paste it here. And like this, we can actually extend the zipper when you have selected this tool just make sure mode is normal opacity and flow is 100% go here to sample and select all layers okay that's very and very important I'm serious guys come on <sighs> I'm already getting tired so how this works when you have sample selected we need first of all to copy this place in order to copy it you need to hold alt if you're using Windows, if you're using Mac, you need to hold Option on your keyboard, okay? You hold Alt or Option, and when you do that, you're going to get this kind of arrow. And then when you hold Alt or Option, you just need to click on this place in order to copy it. You hold Alt or Option, you copy this place, and now we can already continue. We, now we can start drawing, and then continue. I draw with it. As you can see here, we have this plus. This basically means that I'm copying this place, and I'm pasting it here. So I'm copying from here, and I'm pasting here, as you can see. And then I again go back, I again hold Alt or Option, I click here to copy it and then I'm going to continue drawing here. Okay, to copy and as you can see I'm continuing drawing. And then I need to do the same to the left part. 
So again, we copy and then we can continue drawing. We copy and then we continue drawing. We copy and then we continue drawing. As you can see, I'm doing it not very accurate. So you need to be more accurate in order to make sure you don't have face here. So as you can see now, in order to create the upper part of the zipper, this is actually a more difficult part. I need to make my brush smaller and I need to select only this part. So without this part, only this part of the zipper. So basically only the uh, iron part, I would say. As you can see, my brush is really small and i can just click again alt or option and then you copy you click here to copy and then i can draw here and again i go and copy and i continue drawing there i copy i continue drawing and by that you can actually copy continue drawing copy and then again i continue drawing so by that you actually need to create a zipper that goes up so as you can see it needs to go up like that I mean to do the same to the left part as well. So as you can see, after about 20 minutes of working, I have created this part as well. Again, I'm just showing you the result because this part was not recorded. So now we're going to create uh, shadows here. So we're going to create these shadows that we have here. In order to do that, you need to select brush, so you need to select black color. Okay, just go here and make sure your brush is hardness is zero of your brush tool. And then we can just, as you can see, uh, also make sure opacity is about 30% so when opacity is 30% as you can see I draw here it's not very dark it's just 30% that's why it looks like a shadow so I can just draw 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 with a black color and I continue drawing a shadow basically yeah and again this is how the final result should look like when you draw 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 more shadows and you just you just need to draw with black color how difficult this ha this can be so just make sure your layer your shadow layer is actually located behind the zipper okay we have basically finished the artwork but we have here some empty places and uh, in order to actually color them you can just use again stamp tool and then I'm going to copy from here and then I'm just going to paste here this part I'm going to paste it there so again I'm just using um, just creating a new empty layer first of all and then i'm using stamp tool this one here just like we used last time i copied from here and paste there so copy paste copy paste yeah, and again after some work it should look like that <sighs> finally oh my god this was more difficult than i thought oh wait i forgot we're not done yet I mean, we also need we also need to add this uh, this thing here. As you can see the points and make it really noisy. So this part, the texture, and for that what we actually need to do, first of all, we need to select um, the left part of the image, the right part of the image, and also this part of the image. So basically, uh, the body, and we need to convert them into a smart object. So we need to select all of them together, these parts, these three parts, and we need to convert them into a smart object. And then, when we, as you can see, I have already done it here. It's a smart object. And then we did that. First of all, we need to select it, and then uh, we need to go to we need to go to filter. We need to go to noise, and then we need to go add noise. And then we're just going to add some noise. As you can see, I'm adding noise to these parts. And uh, make sure you have distribution Gaussian, monochromatic, and uh, amount around 10 should be fine. Let's click OK. And then we did that. Now we should add some pattern to the overall uh, skin and for that we need to go to our layer and we need to click twice on the empty space on the layer so not on the text, not here, not here but again somewhere here on the empty space you just click tuck, tuck, twice and when you do that as you can see layer styles are open so again in order to open layer styles you need to click twice on the empty space on your layer and then as you can see they're open and then we go to pattern overlay and uh, here we have uh, this kind of pattern which is default photoshop pattern you just need to click here on the arrow and select this uh, circles pattern also make sure blending mode is multiply opacity is 100% and scale is around 75% and also make sure you turn on your preview so you can actually see how it looks on uh, here yeah now and now we just click ok and now we are done my friends uh, <sighs> make sure to go to learnfromfred.com where I'm gonna show you uh, different cool artworks and uh, in detail. In my classes, I'm actually recreating the artworks from zero, so I'm actually recreating them again, and that's why it's easier, easier to explain. Uh, but here I was just uh, explaining it to you from a recording that I did, from a screen recording, but in my classes, I'm actually explaining it to you from zero. So, okay guys, finally I'm done, and now I'm just gonna open the window and jump because I'm so tired, I just wanna kill myself probably. You see that window? That beautiful window, yeah. I'm just gonna jump there and see you guys. Of course I'm kidding, I'm not gonna kill myself. You need to see more of my tutorials. I mean, right? <laughs> see you guys. Bye bye.